Do you have a leopard gecko and you want to improve its care? Keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And today I'm gonna to give you five ways you can improve the care of your leopard gecko. When you keep reptiles, it's very important that you always keep learning and always keep growing and advancing. So let's do that today. And these are things that I did over the last year or two that definitely improved the quality of life of my leopard gecko and also made the enclosure just that much better. So in number one is using overhead heating. I have been switching all of my animals to overhead halogen bulbs. It's much more natural for them than say a heat mat. I think I only have two animals still with heat mats. I think everyone else has overhead heating now which is fantastic. It's what I've been working towards the last couple of years. But it provides the most beneficial form of heat, so it's definitely something that you will want to consider. Going off of that is number two, providing basking rocks or basking platform. And no, I don't mean the electric rocks that you get from the pet store and plug in that heat up. Those are no good, you don't want those. What I mean are taking actual rocks from outside and putting them underneath the basking bulb. That way they have a nice basking platform that again is something very natural to what they would experience in the wild. So lights will heat up that rock, make it nice and toasty, and then they can go on that rock to bask and get nice and toasty. Number three is UVB. Leopard geckos are crepuscular, meaning they're most active at dawn and dusk. Well, if you look outside at dawn and dusk, the sun is still peaking. And it's not totally dark outside, which means there are low levels of UVB. So replicating this in their habitat and providing them with low levels of UVB will only increase the health of your leopard gecko. So why not do it? A good example would be a shade dweller from Arcadia. These are meant for animals in low levels of UVB like leopard geckos. Another way to improve your setup is to provide natural looking enrichment items. I personally really like grape wood and cholo wood because it just, it looks very dry, deserty, very fitting. Gives it something to climb on, hide in, while not ruining the aesthetic of the enclosure. And finally, number five, and one of my favorite things to do with enclosures is add leaf litter. In this case, being more of an arid species, adding little rocks too. So adding rocks and leaf litter scattered throughout the enclosure provides more textures to walk on, makes the ground more uneven. So it's just more natural. They get a little more exercise that way. And it just looks so good. If you keep leopard geckos and have more things to add to this list, be sure to leave them in the comments below. We're all about learning and growing here, so definitely share some tips. And that's it for today's video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.